hello we're visiting with dr stuart reeves he is the director of research and development at embryo health sciences here in ankeny iowa could you talk to us about the research that's been done on epic or certainly first of all we did a lot of laboratory research which although not as exciting as human clinical mm -hmm. trials is really necessary to prove that a product will directly interact with the immune system but it basically established that the product did have effects in the laboratory what we really have to do to prove how good the product is though is human clinical trials mm -hmm. and we've done several human clinical trials and the two i want to mention were carried out last year one of them was carried out in Oregon in the allergy season. Mm. And what we showed was that the people taking Epicor felt healthier. There, there was a statistically significant reduction in their minor health complaints. And they believe this was due to the fact that they appeared to have um, less allergic reactions in the allergy season. This was supported by changes in their blood chemistry. And what was really interesting was that Epicor was in fact balancing the immune system. It wasn't stimulating something or depressing something, it was balancing mm. the whole immune system. And we believe this is one of the major benefits of Epicor. The classical thing people think of with the immune system is diseases. Mm -hmm. So another trial we did was on colds and flu in South Dakota okay. in the winter where they do get colds and flu. And we fed people Epicor at the recommended dose for three months and monitored the number and duration of colds and flu. Mm -hmm. And there was a very significant reduction in both the number of colds and flu that they reported when taking Epicor and the duration of those colds and flu. So altogether, over that three-month period, the people taking Epicor showed a 32% reduction in the number of days they were sick with colds and flu. That is huge. Dr. Reeves, could you elaborate more on the type of studies that have been done? Well, the two that I've mentioned were double-blind placebo-controlled studies. This is, in effect, the gold standard of human mm -hmm. clinical mm -hmm. trials because neither the patients nor the people running the study know which group is taking Epicor and which group is taking the placebo. Right. So this removes bias from the trial as much as humanly possible. And this, we feel, is essential for the majority of trials we do. We have done what are called open-label studies in-house, which show some beneficial effects. And these are valid. There is no doubt there were statistically significant benefits, mm -hmm. but the double-blind placebo-controlled is always the gold standard, the Rolls-Royce of trials. What about the long-term dosage? It's a natural product. Mm -hmm. We all consume yeast, um, whether we like it or not. It's in bread. It's in fermented products. It's safe for long-term use. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's a new product. Very few people have been taking it more than three years because it didn't exist three years ago. But those who have been taking it have shown no ill effects, and these include all our executive officers, <laughs> and they're very careful about their health. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Reeves. We'll visit again. My pleasure.